Coming up in today's Spice Run video, I've got Puss's brand new-ish uh, gunpowder proof spiced rum. So welcome back boys and girls. Yes, yeah, Saturday, another spiced rum review. Uh, this one I've just said Puss's lovely kind of brand of rum, English style navy rums. Uh, that's why I love them. I did used to love their old spiced rum, but they kind of delisted it, I think, possibly 2019-ish give or take, uh, and they've kind of just re-come out, probably start of 2021, I forget the actual date of this, but they've re relaunched their Gunpowder Proof as a spiced rum. Um, I think they might actually still do the Gunpowder Proof, but they kind of dropped off my radar, um, but the Gunpowder Proof is a spiced rum. Now, uh, the cocktail that I'll show you how to make at the end of the video, um, kind of lovely cocktail, uh, I'll kind of explain a bit more, but it's called a Hoodoo Drummer, it's not one of mine, as always with the spiced rums, I'm trying to take semi to famous uh, kind of rum cocktails, not like your mojitos and your, your daiquiris and things like that, but kind of tiki, fun, tropical rum cocktails that are kind of sort of well known out there in the world and, and just kind of demonstrating them with spice drums. So that's coming up. That's the, um, what do we call that? The hoodoo drummer. So I'll tell you who invented that and the ingredients for that. This is absolutely delicious though. It's not sweet at all. There's no added sugar in there. The rum, the notes from the rum really come forward. There's notes of like pear, I've used a pear liqueur in there, it's an orange liqueur, sort of mango tropical. It's the mango that really, really goes well with that rum. That is a super, super delicious cocktail. Right then, so let's dive in to the rum. As always, with a lot of spiced rums, they do have a little bit of blurb on the back of the bottles. They do love their little stories. So uh, we've got now distilled in vintage wooden vats, aged in charred oak barrels for three years. Uh, bottled by Pusses, British Virgin Islands um, product of Guyana, obviously. That's why I love it. I love those kind of Demerara rums there. So the back of the bottle, prior to the introduction of the, the Sykes Hydrometer in 1816, so this is a story about the proof uh, in this. So prior to the uh, introduction of our hydrometer, uh, the ship's purser or pusser uh, tested the strength of, strength of the daily issue by mixing neat rum with a little water to which was added a few gunpowder grains. True story this. Uh, if when the mixture was heated through a burning glass, uh, the gunpowder ignited, the rum was served at proof. When the method was tested by a hydrometer, it was found to be 109 proof or 54.5% ABV. So that 54.5 is, is technically what proof is. It's that thing where it's the lowest ABV that something should set fire. Uh, essentially. Uh, the rum, the superb rum is the bottle has been chill filtered, aged in three years in once used charred oak bourbon barrels, uh, further enhanced by a unique blend of Caribbean spices. Oh my days. That, that is a stunning rum to drink neat. Absolute stuff. Right, the point, and I try and make this distinction quite a lot, the point to make, this is a spiced rum for rum lovers. If you're the kind of dead man's fingers, if you're the old J, um, I was going to say rebellion, it's a bit harsh on rebellion, what else have we got? But dead man's fingers, old J kind of territory, this probably won't be up your, uh, up your street. It is not bone dry like some of the spiced rums that I did probably about a year ago. Um, it has got an element of sweetness to it, but not that much. As I say, this, if you are a rum lover, this is a spiced rum very much for you guys. Uh, up front, definitely this the cinnamon, the ginger notes up there. You get the alcohol proof. I, um, it's a stunning rum, super smooth going down. I know the smooth thing is a cliche, but you do, even though you, it's not nearly 55% ABV, you do not get the burn at all. Uh, but what, the, what it finishes off with, and this is where I get really excited, I get, it finishes with like a little chocolatey banana thing going on. Kind of, actually reminds me of sort of like vanilla ice cream as well. I have to give that, got, got little hints of toffee then. I'm gonna to have to give that a nine out of 10. Right, let's get on to tasting these. Um, as just before I get into these as well, I forgot to mention, uh, the league table is now kind of live online. So I have got there and then we'll be going back through uh, some of the older, I might do a live. Uh, I've put the I've put it out there. I might do a live where I kind of just do, like maybe I don't know how I do it, but I might do some lives going back through some old vid, um, old spice drums that I've got to do these. Uh, but it is in the form of a Google Doc. I couldn't work out of a way of keeping it constantly updated uh, live on my website. So it's a Google Doc. The link will be in the show descriptions. Right, Coke. 
without shadow of a doubt, during the latest sort of what I've done now, five maybe, that is the best rum and coke I've had so far. That is a strong nine out of ten. I, as I said before, I don't believe in giving tens out. That is, but that is as close to perfect for me. Is that is a great rum and coke. I absolutely love that. Right, ginger ale. Again, it is near on. It is near on perfect for me. Absolutely love that. Uh, again, I can't fault it. Nine, nine out of ten. Ginger beer. I really like. I prefer the ginger ale. Ginger beer. That it's just my. It's just me. I do prefer the ginger ale, uh, so I've brought that down to an eight uh, for the ginger beer there. Uh, now, into this is where it gets interesting. Tropical soda. I think, and I've got another product. Hang on, and I'm back. I've just kind of, I've got so many different mixes that I could use in that. Uh, but I think, right, uh, I'm not going to do it because that'll be kind of. I might do it in live. I might do different mixes uh, for like a spice drum live kind of thing. But I think the sweetness of that is going to work a damn sight better than that. So I've actually given that tropical soda because that's kind of a dry uh, tropical soda. I've actually only given it a six. Might work for some of you. I just didn't really work for me. Uh, Sprite. Again, it's all right. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't set my world on fire. Uh, it's definitely suited more that end of the scale. Uh, I've given it a seven. There's nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't set my world on fire. That's all. So six and a seven. Uh, ting. Interestingly for me, again, it's all right. It's not setting me a light. I'm, I'm just going to have to give it a six for that. I think the Sprite is better. Um, but, you know, Ting's all right. I think that'll be quite good with cocktails. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to give it a six. Uh, now, the coconut water. This is interesting. Because for me, I really like that. I, I do really like that. It's, it's not in that class. Uh, that's where this the strengths really love, uh, really um, really lie with that. But it is better with that. Um, I'm seven. I've gone with a seven. I've toyed about going higher, but I've gone for a seven. So we're going nine, nine, eight, uh, six, seven, six, seven for that. Right, my two favourite challenges. I've just knocked up my standard daiquiri and my standard rum punch. I really do like that. But it wouldn't be a go-to daiquiri for me. I wouldn't I wouldn't go to a bar, I wouldn't make it at home uh, for that. It's, it's a cracking daiquiri, uh, but I wouldn't, I, I don't think that style of rum is possibly suited to a daiquiri. That, that's just me, it's just my own personal thing. I, I'll go up one, I've given it a seven. I'm just gonna change my mind, I've given it a seven. I did give it a six, but I'll give it a seven. Um, and, but the rum punch, however, I flipping well love that as a rum punch. That is probably the best rum punch I've made so far uh, with these spice drums. I cannot fault that. It's kind of that traditional rum punch recipe that they would use with that style of rum. And I, again, there's going to be something magical that comes out to give it a 10. But that is probably the easiest 9 out of 10 I'll give it all day for a rum punch. So, Which just leaves me to the versatility score. Um, the cocktail, the cocktail is lovely. Really, really nice. But it has, the rum itself has got those unique kind of Demerara. I wouldn't say it's a catch-all rum. Oh, I really wouldn't. I don't think it's going to lend itself to the fruity stuff. Uh, sort of fruitier mixes as much as it does that. So again, versatility, I have to bring it down. And that's not slant, that's not slating the rum. But with just some with some spiced rums, they just work so well with everything. Probably because they have a bit more sugar in it, to be fair. That's all it is. Um, and it's gonna it's just the bit the extra sugar is just gonna work well with that. And again, that's where this will probably do it at this service because it deserves to be a lot higher. But I could quite happily drink that. Uh, so versatility, I gave it a seven 
out of 10, which gives us the final score of 85 uh, out of 110. And I do believe, if I've done that right, I do believe that's the highest scoring uh, one so far. Uh, but you'll see it, just download the, um, just click the link in the description uh, below and you'll see it. Uh, so let's dive in and show you how to make that cocktail. Right then, let's uh, show you how to make this cocktail. It's called uh, the Hoodoo Drummer. And uh, it's the recipe taken from a guy called Tom Morgan who created it in 2012 over in California, the Lothario Lounge in California. So run you through the ingredients. Obviously I've swapped up the rum. I just thought it'd be kind of a nice, I want to show you cool cocktails, but also mix them with spiced rum. So there's no rhyme or reason really. I just thought it'd be a cool cocktail uh, for the rum. Uh, so I've got the, obviously got the gunpowder proof. I've got some uh, Giffard Pear Liqueur or Poir William, if you want that sort of stuff. Uh, another one in Zante. I think it's Zante, but the X um, uh, there's another cracking pear liqueur you can use. Uh, I've got some Fortunella orange liqueur. I've got some mango juice and I've got some freshly squeezed lime juice. So really, really simple, this one. Uh, where's what you go? There it is. Uh, I'm going for, because this is bomb proof, <laughs> like literally 40, well, what is it, 50? I've forgotten already, 54.5% ABV. I'm going for 45 mil. I'm going to be a bit cheeky, 45 mil for this. So there, we've got that. So that's that. Uh, it's kind of, you notice there's no sugar in there. There's no sweetener. And I'm going to let the two liqueurs and the mango juice do the work for this one. Uh, so pear liqueur, uh, I'm going for 22 and a half mil. So three quarters of an ounce uh, for that. Do love a bit of pear. And obviously there's sort of, the, sort of ginger notes in there. Should work quite well, is what I thought. Uh, the Fortunella orange liqueur, think Grand Marnier, or oh, oh, even Quantro triple sec, um, what's the other one? Orange Curacao, I'll go that way. I just love this kumquat. This is uh, kumquat based. I'm going for half uh, half an ounce of 15 mil, or two thirds of an ounce. <laughs> oh, it's good. Oh, I love that stuff. Absolutely love that stuff. Right, uh, I'm going for 30 mil of uh, mango juice. That's uh, a three zero of mango juice, one ounce, and then I'm just going for 15 mil of freshly squeezed lime juice. There we go. So I think this should be uh, quite a nice cocktail. Obviously, I'm gonna, you'll see me taste it at the start of the video. Uh, so we go from there. Right, uh, shake this down. Good, hard and fast shake, 10 to 12 seconds. And when that's all nicely chilled, and the glass was actually kind of a lot of rocks glass, but I thought, yeah, let's start rocking these out. I did a live stream by the time this comes out, live stream a couple of weeks ago. I thought, Do you know what, I miss me old tiki glasses. Uh, so I'm just gonna use a tiki glass for this. Uh, dirty dump, shake and dump. Pour in there, because you can't see the ice in there. And I'm just gonna sort of top up. I've got some crushed ice here. So just top up with crushed ice. And then just to simply garnish, I've just gone for a sprig of mint. You could go for like um, a tropical flower or something like that. I've just gone for a sprig of mint. Well then, if you want even more spiced rum reviews, they'll be popping up on screen there. So dive into one of those. As always, if you like the rum, give us a big old thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any of my future content, make sure you subscribe to the channel.